the state of proper girls completed. So, in that modes of reproduction, So you know that it does scourge of uh, wheat plants. It is commonly known as the terror of Bengal. It is that water hyacinth. Icarnia. It grows rapidly on the standing water. Standing water. So it removes that, it grows rapidly on standing water. So, it removes oxygen from the water. It is the object of it. That is cause for that. That is cause for death of fishes. Generally, it is not uh, Indian plant. So, it is came from that. other countries into India, it is exported it is imported, it is imported to India by its beautiful flowers and shape of limbs. It's beautiful flowers and shape of limbs. It is imported into the India from other countries. Okay? But it is removed that oxygen from the water. It is caused for the death of the fishes. It grows phenomenal rate. Phenomenal rate on water, it is very difficult to remove that. It is very difficult to remove them. Okay? So, that is known as that scourge of wheat plant, that is known as that. Terror of Bengal, water hyacinth, Icarnia. So, this uh, it grows rapidly on the standing water, right? So, it removes oxygen from the water that is caused for the death of fishes. But it is not an uh, Indian plant, it came from that other countries. It is okay, so imported to India by its uh, beautiful flowers and uh, shape of leaves. Right? After then, it grows at phenomenal rate on water. That's why, so it is very difficult, okay, to remove that water or to remove them. Okay? So, that is about that uh, Icarnia. Generally, Icarnia, okay, spread, okay, fastly on that standing water by the presence of offsets. That is known as subaerial stem modification. After that, so you observe that in some plants, for example, in potato, sugar cane, ginger, banana, and dahlia. Generally, 
it is that it is a potato so this potato having that uh, producing of emerging buds they are known as that uh, germinating buds this germinating buds are formed from that eye like structures so i am also explained before that eyes means it is a represent nodes okay so same as in the sugar cane okay so the stem cuttings used as a vegetative reproduction process so each stem cutting having the nodes okay right for example in the ginger it is a rhizome underground stem modification is the rhizome okay banana also rhizome so this rhizome it means where that nodes are touch the soil it producing adventitious roots then it can live independently it means they are participate in uh, vegetative reproduction after that in the bryophyllum so reproductive they are also known as the reproductive leaves these are the reproductive leaves in the reproductive leaves at that margin some buds are present so this buds are known as that uh, okay epiphyllous buds they are known as epiphyllous buds epiphyllous buds are present in the margin of leaf okay when the buds are touch the soil it producing of the new plants it means by this of knowledge okay means guardians and farmers and farmers increasing their uh, agriculture productivity okay so and uh, increase horticulture increase yield in horticulture and gardening and agriculture process okay so that is known as that asexual reproduction <coughs> generally in lower organisms it means monera protista and uh, algae and fungi okay so this all are that the most common method of reproduction is that uh, asexual reproduction what is the common method of uh, asexual reproduction what is the most common method of reproduction that is known as asexual reproduction is common asexual reproduction is most common common method okay in lower organisms but at the time of adverse condition or onset adverse condition at onset uh, adverse condition means at unfavorable condition at unfavorable condition so they are shift to sexual reproduction why it means at the sexual reproduction so it means for example it is a zygote zygote producing a thick wall around of its own 
and present at rest condition so that is known as a resting spore this resting spore are known as that a zygospore okay so in the lower organism generally in that algae and that in fungi okay so zygospore it is a zygote so this zygote producing a thick wall around of its own present at rest condition after getting favorable condition so this zygote germinate to producing of the new plant okay this thick wall resting spore okay formed around the zygote so that is known as that zygospore that's why they are product from that unfavorable condition so that's why at the time they are shifted to that sexual reproduction on onset of adverse condition okay so in higher organism both asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction both are occur in that higher organism that is known as that asexual reproduction so after that asexual reproduction next one is that sexual reproduction process sexual reproduction so in that sexual reproduction generally it is takes place by the fission of gametes okay this gametes may be male and female different gametes okay so fission of gametes male and female gametes that is known as that uh, sexual reproduction okay so in the sexual reproduction this male and female gametes are generally form from different organism from different individuals or organisms are same individuals okay so sexual reproduction it means the formation of gametes from that two different organisms it is not always true but sometimes so this gametes are also formed from by the same individual plant or same individual or same organism right generally it is that uh, sexual reproduction is generally is that slowly process and elaborate and complex process and complex process it is occur that orderly and sequential it occurs orderly and sequential sequence okay so in sexual reproduction it means so some are for example so some organisms are having that different organism it means male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ are form from the same plant that is known as that bisexual or monoecious monoecious right 
and male and female reproductive organs are formed from different individuals they are known as that unisexual or dioecious condition dioecious condition okay so in sexual reproduction process in sexual reproduction process <coughs> all organisms all living organisms having that uh, for example what are that all living organisms for example an organisms like monera protista fungi and plants and animals they are different organisms but so they are followed that it means in this one in this all organism external morphology and uh, internal physiology and structure is dissimilar structure is different so external morphology internal physiology and structure is different but uh, all the living organisms are so sharing similar part, pattern but all organisms at the time of sexual reproduction at the time of sexual reproduction sharing similar method sharing similar method it means formation of gametes next fusion of gametes after that fertilization and zygote and formation of that embryo and after that organism all of that uh, same similar process so that's why in sexual reproduction at the time of sexual reproduction in all organism like monera protista fungi plant animals shows different external morphology and internal physiology and structure is a different but all organisms at the time of sexual reproduction sharing similar method or similar pattern what are that formation of gametes fusion of gametes fertilization zygote embryo and formation of organism so this is the process is the similar in all organism but also having that uh, different uh, okay so characters showing different characters